This video is to show how to embed a YouTube into a Moodle course. So I'm going to update this resource. This is a page that was already created. Um, or if we go over here to the, the class, we can turn editing on and then we can add a resource. So um, you can add uh, a compose a text page or compose a web page. So I just go to compose web page and so you can give it a name so video and then in here you can you know type a summary and then in here is where you would put you know your text and then the video and so here, here is an example and then right here, the toggle HTML source, this uh, puts it into kind of like a HTML uh, coding. So we'll just leave some space in here. We'll go into our, our videos here. And then we can take a video in here and then go share and then do embed, copy the, the uh, the source code here, go back to our site and paste that code in here and then we'll scroll down and do save and display to make sure that that's correct. And so our example is here. Sometimes it doesn't show up uh, automatically so if we just hop back out of the course or we go back into video, it'll now show. And so it'll play it within the course. And so if I wanted to update this and move, you know, the here is an example, we can just go here. And so sometimes it just takes a couple tries, save and display. And again, it doesn't show. And so we'll go back out, we'll come back in, and it shows, and now the here is an example is moved. So that's how I do it. So to review, we go to here. Then add a resource. I do web page, compose web page, give it a name, name video. And then we can go into a YouTube. And so um, let's do this one. And then we can click share. We'll click embed. It'll give us a nice uh, thing to copy and paste the code. We'll copy it. Go back to here. Here is another example. Click these uh, uh, these this icon that says toggle HTML source when you put your clicker over it. Your mouse gives some space. Put that in there. And then um, you can also do an HTML code to create spaces to do a P like that, but you don't have to know that. Um, and then save and display. It won't show the first time. You might think you did it wrong, but if you go back out, come back in, you'll now see it again. So that's how I do it. Um, and then from here, they can make it bigger as well. All right, so let me know if you have any questions. Thanks so much.